Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to my channel, Eat Healthy, Get Rich, Drink Good Beer. If you don't know me, my name is Taranjit Singh Rai and I help college going students, university going students to get on to that mortgage, to get on to that property ladder and if you're a young growing adult, maybe to pay off that mortgage. I am not a financial advisor. These videos are for entertainment purposes only. I don't have any license to advise you financially. So if you're looking for financial advice, this channel is not the one. Now that this disclaimer is away, the company I would like to introduce is called Bitform. Sticker symbol BITF listed on NASDAQ. Hence, if you are in the UK, you can buy this on Trading212 ISA. Another disclaimer, I have a position in this company and I have bought it on Trading212 ISA. The reason for buying in ISA is in case if I get any gains, they will not be taxed as they are within my £20,000 allowance. So the reason why I picked BITF is because they have a earnings call tomorrow and I think they're going to smash their uh, projected earnings. The reason being, just in the month of July, they have mined more than 300 bitcoins the second reason i want to bring this company in front of you is because 99 percent of their crypto mining operations they use hydroelectricity which is clean which is green if you guys remember my previous picks i usually pick blockchain mining companies that usually use the green energy and i made a detailed uh, due diligence video on hive blockchain if you do want to watch it you know where the link is right in the description another reason i want to discuss this company is because their overall cost of mining one bitcoin is only $8,400 with Bitcoin sitting at 47k and steadily climbing towards its all-time high provided the bull run is back. I think we are in for juicy returns, not financial advice of course. Before I go into any more details of BITF, let's just quickly look at the crypto markets. Of course, Bitcoin is around 46,000, Ethereum is around 3k, Binance sitting comfortably around 400k and the biggest pump of recent days is Cardano because Charles Hopkinson announced that the mainnet, the Gogan mainnet will be launched on 12th of September. Just be careful here because many people will buy the test nest and sell the main net. You may see slight dip around September 9, September 10. However, given what Ethereum did recently, so on August the 4th, Ethereum deployed London hard fork and everyone thought Ethereum will dump. It did not happen guys. Ethereum's NFT market space is actually dictating a lot of burning of Ethereum. As a result, there is quite a lot of stability in the price of Ethereum at the moment. Obviously guys, if Cardano is pumping, then you need to look at the surrounding ecosystems which are under Cardano. I have been saying this a lot in my previous videos. So Charlie 3, the Oracle, the payment processing platforms like Kodi, and the NFT market space, thousands and thousands of projects gonna be launched. Many, many IDOs will happen on the Cardano blockchain now that the smart contracts can be deployed. So there will be an opportunity to make juicy returns. So please follow me on Twitter at the rate Eat Healthy Get Rich where I will discuss and highlight some of those projects because I don't have time to make videos during the week. I'm only your weekend YouTuber. If you like my videos, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, also hit that bell notification button if you don't want to miss out on such videos really appreciate if you do this because i am way behind in the youtube algorithm just because i can't make videos every day so please help me so that uh, we can spread this channel far and wide guys also xrp is outgunning everything every bank down the line will need xrp and xrp is doing what Bitcoin originally wanted to do. A lot of people don't understand XRP at all. They call it banker's coin and abuse uh, towards the Ripple Labs. Actually, XRP is gonna change the system by acting within the system. So I actually have a really good decent position and I'm laughing because it has almost doubled uh, my position. I entered around 60p. Okay guys, let's do this video slightly different. Rather than reading from the screen, rather than just pulling up a company website, rather than just looking at the graph, rather than bore you with the RSI, the MACDs, the, the resistance, the support, let's just take a slightly philosophical approach here and compare all these similarly ranked companies the video is BITF but just for your knowledge just for your sake of ease I have done this all research and I have made a table for you so outstanding shares in BITF are 145 million and they are comparable to HUT which is also 142 million whereas HVPT uh, is 377 million so you can see almost more than double the shares and that is reflected in the price the star here donates that HVPT predominantly mines Ethereum which I think Think will explode given that it is now shifting from proof of work to proof of stake and obviously people are questioning HVBT strategy here because the minor rewards gonna
gonna be slashed? I don't think so. I think they can make a lot of money just by loaning out Ethereum. Ethereum ecosystem has exploded and it's gonna continue to explode and I can only see one direction in which Ethereum will go. The float of uh, BITF is 137 million so these are the shares that me and you can buy on the open market hot is 125 million and hvbt is 339 the short interest is very very low in three companies again suggesting to me that these are solid investments these are good long-term holds not many people are betting against them now the important uh, aspect so how many bitcoins does bitf as in cold storage the answer is 1678 and the July, they have mined more than 300 Bitcoins. I think this number is gonna increase drastically because they have increased the capacity. Hut has 4,123, whereas uh, HVBT have only 875. But as I said, they also mine Ethereum and they have 25,000 Ethereum in the cold storage. The other uh, statistic which is important is how many Bitcoins are mined per day. So BITF is mining about 12 to 13 Bitcoins per day. HUT is mining 14 to 16, whereas HVBT is mining 2 to 3. Again, I don't know the exact number. I've just divided based upon their Q2 and Q3 reports. I might be wrong here. Another indicator of how strong a company is, is how much of the shares are held internally. So really high for BITF, which is 24.5%, 15% for HUT, and 10% for HVBT. Another indicator is how much of the shares are held by the institution. In case of BITF, approximately 9%, HUT is 10%, HVBT is also 10%. In terms of looking at the upside potential, what I like to do is look at the all-time high. So BITF all-time high is 10, HUT is 13, and HVBT is 5.75, and then compare it to the current share price. So it is 6.78 for BITF, 6.56 for HUT, and 3.04 for HVBT. Now guys, I think given the fact that HUT has more Bitcoins in its treasury, it has higher BTC mine per day, it has shorter float, I think of all these companies, in the short term, I think HUT is a better investment. However, in the long term, the rate at which BITF are increasing their Bitcoins mine per day, and July output is testament to that. I think long term BITF will be a better hold. All of them use green energy, hydroelectric energy. So all of these three companies are good companies. I have personal holdings in BITF and HVBT and I'm planning to buy HUT as well. All of these will be part of my ISA portfolio. Now question is, if they are sending all this money into the cold storage, how are they making money? There is so much going on in the cryptocurrency space that many people don't understand. There is decentralized exchanges, there is decentralized finance, all of these companies are involved in that. Uh, you can actually loan out your crypto to get juicy returns and all three companies are doing that. You can actually stake the crypto and earn juicy returns. If you don't know how to stake your crypto, I happen to have a video about staking your crypto, the link is in the description. And the final bit I would like to say, especially for people who say, what happens when they have mined all the Bitcoin? Every block can validate the transactions on the ledger. People who don't understand Bitcoin don't understand the value that 21 million is a finite limit of Bitcoin mined. This guys, compared to fiat, there is no comparison. Fiat is dirty, you all know how much I hate the corrupt bankers. I just feel that the economy is artificially sustained at the moment and that artificial sustenance is dependent upon US and UK printing crazy amount of money, including many, many other countries. Another good thing about BITF is they are having operations in Argentina and the reason is strategic. Many, many South American countries, they really depend upon dollars as their backup currency. So the, they want to get freedom from the dollar and the only way they can do it is via adopting Bitcoin. And if you listen to Twitter's Jack Dorsey, he wants to integrate the Lightning Network into the Twitter uh, payments. I suspect Twitter is behind the recent rally of Bitcoin. I have no proof of it. This is just my intuition. I think the reason why Bitcoin has recovered so much is probably the likes of Twitter have bought it. Of course, they will not declare it until they need to, but obviously Jack's company Square has a lot of Bitcoin in their cold storage as well. That's all I have for today. If you like this video, please hit the like button, please hit subscribe and hit that bell notification. I'm your weekend YouTuber. Come on guys, smash that like button and I'll see you in the next video.